Yeah, hi. We are really high today, 17,000 kilometers. Let's take a closer look. Yesterday I was talking about magnetic lines. Like these kind of things. And these kind of things are much more complicated and there are many more. It's just like somehow to illustrate what I'm trying to say here. Obviously, that's the axe. And that's north and south. So the energy is going through and around. This is why you are connected to the universe all the time. But... So, if these are electromagnetic fields, you would somehow think that, yeah, metal, especially like iron or something, which is really always excited about magnets or electric fields, there could be some amount of metal, like, to be found. Like, yesterday I was talking about Finnish geology, that, there is, that we have a whole lot of metal, especially ferrum iron in the ground so Africa as you can see let's go to the southern tip I want to show you something Mountains of iron. And how else this could be produced to get on top of the ground than in a way getting extra, how to put it, like, if you watch that, the whole area, exciting it was the word I was searching for. It's probably not that accurate, I guess that's the center of it. I'm searching for this one place. I just saw it before. No, it's not this one. There are a few mines, which is no surprise, this one. I tell many times that wherever the dragon once roamed, people are digging stuff out of the ground. This is a red mine, I tell you, red and black. And actually, it's interesting what they tell about it. <clears throat> Sishin mine. Somehow sounds, sounds Chinese to me, but... <clears throat> the Sishin mine is a large iron mine located in central South Africa. In Katu, Northern Cape, Sishin presents one of the largest iron ore reserves in South Africa and in the world. Fifty eight point six per cent iron. The Sishin mine, mine has a geological structure producing a high grade hematite ore. So they still think that it's producing this all the time. Still, you know, geological processes are really slow, it's still making this hematite. Similar to those at Bejerek mine, there has been an investigation into a region known as the Sishin South Exploration Project, which is blah 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 blah. Local geology. You would think that this kind of area would be really interesting and, you know, but this is all they tell here about the geology. And listen to that. 
do you know any better afterwards? The techno stratigraphy that session reflects a fault control basin or sub basin dominated by the GAP and post mass group groups of the Transvaal supergroup, the Kama Gara Mapeti formation of the Olifant supergroup and the Karo supergroup. Okay. Citation. Do we get anywhere from here? Clicking somewhere? Yeah, we got somewhere. Check it out. Springer. 3D implicit modeling of the session mine. New resolution of the geometry and origin of FA. Mineralization. Three years old. Mm. The Scission deposit is one of the largest iron ore concentrations in current produ production. Hematite mineralization occurs along a strike or length of 14 kilometers with a width of 3.2 and a maximal vertical extent of 400 meters below the original surface. Let's make some art. That's the ground. There's no brown color here. That's ground. Let's say different kinds of layers. Which are made properly of different kinds of things. There, has to, there must be water also and all this kind of stuff. And then... There's a lightning bolt. Wrong button. Let's start again. Let's make it quick. People are busy nowadays. Fuck again. Wrong button. Last time I try. Otherwise, I will leave it here. Lightning strike. Different color again. You can imagine it will melt around the lightning bolt. The warmth will penetrate to wherever direction. Path of least resistance and best conductivity, I guess. There is like stuff flying away to all directions. Boulders. And all kinds of stuff. So, if we take the depth, here to say it's 400 meters, so let's say 400 meters is here, and then we have 6, 800, 1000, just an example. The lightning strikes, the lightning strike will reach whatever it will reach. So this indicates at the depth of 400 meters, the conditions and the, how you put it, the things you need, and besides electricity, what we have here, were perfect to form hematite. So what Got created here in this step, in this step, in this step, in this step. If all the layers would be the same, because the energy is increasing and the temperature is in, the the energy is decreasing and also is the temperature. So there is different different kinds of stuff will be formed through this whatever electrical discharge event that we are looking at when we are watching this mine. Uh, Fully constrained, implicit 3D modeling of the entire mining volume was undertaken through the original pre-mining topography. 21,000 drill holes. Mm. Yeah. 
Now we come to the. <laughs> I won't pay a cent for this. Yeah, try to dig deeper, deeper, but I won't pay a single cent, and I am no institution. So this means we have to, or I have to find some better source of knowledge about this or I'll just leave it here it's not that satisfying to put it like that yeah but anyway let's go back and take a look again at the scenery Let's put all the things off. And look at what nature created. Hmm. On the first glimpse, there is this kind of similarity here on both sides. At closer inspection, yeah, I didn't practice this. Oh, so there is a part of that which goes like that, and there is a part of this which goes like that. Another similarity, and if someone tries to explain to me that water erosion or whatever they try to explain it doesn't make really sense like <clears throat> this might be a crater this one this one this one this one this one all these aligned crater lines Do you see any river or stream flowing through creating those? There is none. There's a river here. But this is where the dragon wandered. If this would be a river and water would create those valleys or how you call them. Why do we have these ponds? Why did it, did it get deeper? There's no, th no water flowing at all here. There may be two drops. There maybe it was raining more there once, but still. The evaluation and the it's basically flat the whole country there. There are no mountains. You need a height difference in order to make water flow or electricity. I leave it here. Thanks. Bye.